Hey, craftsmen folks and all you Lowe's folks out there. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. She's being temperamental. Alexa, stop. We got to get us a new weed eater. Daddy blew up the other one. A Troy built weed eater. And how I know it's kind of blown up or not working anymore. You go to pull up. Nothing to it. No compression at all. I actually put it on a gauge and there was you know, basically half the amount of compression you need to start an engine. So I don't know what's up with it. But anyway, so I had it two years. It cost me a hundred bucks. It did great. Look at all that. It had actually I have the attachment to it that I can I can do some edging. So I'm like, okay, hundred bucks, two years. Now let's go ahead and get something new. So I go to Lowe's and I find the Craftsman Weed Eater. And I'm like, okay, let me check it out. Now this one's got the, the shaft that bends. And I was like, oh, I don't want that. I'm kind of tall, six foot two, and uh, there's the model number of it. I didn't want that. I started looking at it closer. And I was like, this thing looks familiar. Multi-yard tool attachment system. I'm like, this is very familiar. Look at this side of it. Easy start. I'm like, it's even got an electric start capable, just like the Troy build. I'm looking at it. It's got all these extra attachments, just like the Troy build. And I'm like, I'm buying this thing. So I come back here, take everything out of the box. I'm looking at it. Got Troy Bill right here. Craftsman right there. Now look at them. There's not much differences. Not at all. Let's start with look. Start with just the trigger system. Look, look here. Troy Bill. Craftsman. No difference at all. Same color. Red, red, red. Same exact systems. There's nothing different at all. You come up here to where the carburetor is. All right, there's the Troy built. It's got a, a choke and everything system right here. All right. This is the same shape. You know the cap where you get to the air filter? Boom, it's right there. Cap for the air filter on the Craftsman. It is right. Let's see if I pull it off real fast. There, same exact thing. Now this is the only thing that's different here, but I guarantee you, if I have to take this Troy built system and put it on here, it's the same thing. It, it'll work. It has the same adjustments and everything on it. It's the exact same thing. Come back here to the back, electric start system for the Craftsman. Has the exact same stuff as the electric start system for the Troy built. Maybe they're the exact same company. Maybe they're the same thing. Now, what I'm really interested in is this. I've got the attachments they go with the Troy built. I want to see if they'll fit in that Craftsman. That's what I really want to do. So here we go. I'm going to go get them and we're going to see if they fit. And if they do, I just saved myself a bunch of money not having to buy the attachments. See you in a second. All right, I'm back. I got my attachments. And what we're going to do is here's the big thing. We want to make sure that the attachments from the Troy built, I'm going to take them off right now. Boom. I want that to fit on brand new Craftsman. I don't want that curvy thing. Let's see if it's going to fit, JT. All right, pushing it in there. I can't do it one handed here. Let me try it right. Set this down for a second. And oh, it fits perfectly. Tighten it in there. I did not know Craftsman and Troy Build are the exact same thing. So, I've got a Troy built weed eater head, long shaft on my Craftsman weed eater. There's my busted Troy built. I'll never need that again. I'm gonna keep it for parts maybe. Maybe it'll last a little bit longer. Now I've got an edger. I can use it too. It's, man, back and forth. Here's the, what I'll never need to use is that little light thing. Now imagine what's gonna happen is, um, I, when I use my weed eaters, I'm using them. I mean, I'm not, 
just ain't dancedly out there just getting little things i'm getting things working hard with it it's not commercial but i do like to get after it so i imagine i just overworked the engine but i got two years out of it for a hundred bucks so i think it's worth it so there you go we're gonna fire it up here in a minute and see how that you know how this works all together bringing the troy built and the craftsman together so there you go troy built craftsman same thing anything you want to say to everybody jt we'll see you in a minute so i am going to get my good gas out of my troy built good gas not going to waste even though gas is cheap right now i don't like wasting it that will be plenty boom eat craftsman again direction say press 10 times just like the troy built move lever to one okay squeeze throttle steps four through eight pull five times move lever to two Pull three to five times, start engine, wait 30 seconds, move lever to three. So here we go, let's do it again. Here we go, squeeze throttle, pull it four or five times. One, two, three, four, five. All right, move it to the left to two. That's what it said, move lever to two, pull it again. take I'm gonna try to get this edger on from the Troy built actually Troy built's not on this thing at all may have been on no it's not a sticker it says trimmer plus trimmer plus I don't know if that's a Troy built thing or not and see if it, this craftsman will work with that Troy built so taking that off that over all right it fit tighten it down oh, let's put that on there let's get it going let's see what happens all right all right up. But I'm glad I bought this Craftsman. Maybe it'll last me two years. I know there's better quality, but for the price, I'm good to go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this stuff, like, subscribe, and make a comment. I know you got a lot of comments about weed eaters. I could buy a $300 one and have it for 15 years, save money that way. Um, I just really spend 100 bucks though. Kind of have fun, get something brand new. Anyways, we all have our own personal preferences. And now look at the camera. Come on, step up near, near you like we need her. Right there. Look at the camera. Now stick your chest out and be strong. Smile to the camera. Look up and smile to the camera. Stand up. And there you go. Smile. Look at the camera one more time. Three, two, one. Hi.
Good deal. Ah ha ha.